see yourself in this little story right here. Luke 18, starting at verse 10. Luke 18, 10. No, go up to 9. And he spake this parable unto, unto uh, certain which trusted in themselves. There we go. That's what I'm Luke 18, starting at verse 9. And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in whom themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Look at, their, look at the ingredients here. They were righteous and despised others. Two men went up into the temple to pray. Two men went to the church to pray. The one, a Pharisee, meaning highly religious, got it going on. I know how to pray. I know how to dress. I got money. I look good, right? <laughs> and the one Pharisee and the other Republican. That word Republican means sinner. So therefore, he's a sinner. Whether it be alcoholic, drug addict, fornicator, adulterer, liar, cheater, he's a sinner. That's what Republican means. Verse 10. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with, with himself. God, I thank you. Mm -hmm. That I'm not like as other men are, uh, extortionists, unjust, adulterers, and even as this sinner next to me. I'm glad I ain't like them, Lord. You know, I ain't like one of these disciples. <laughs> yeah, Lord, I'm one of your disciples. <laughs> now, I heard a preacher preach at a funeral, and it just blew my mind. I gotta tell it, never. I heard a preacher preach at a funeral. Now, we have a funeral. And he preached it. And he said, the Lord is my sheep. And I shall not want. He's anointed my head with her. I said, what's a sword? I'm sick. And I'm sitting there with the crack out of me. You know? Then he said, then he said, and the Lord said to one of his disciples, I got many mentions in heaven. I said, what's a mention? Don't you need mention? His disciples got many mentions. But anyway, <laughs> only in the South. Rod said he's from where, South? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm sorry. Let's keep going. Verse 11. I just had to stop. There you go. Amen. Verse 11. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. God, I thank thee, and I am not as the other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as the public. I fast, now he's telling God, giving, giving God his account. Look at this. I fast twice a week. I give tithes. <laughs> I give tithes of all that I present. When you got to speak about your giving, you ain't gay. Amen. When you got to announce you gave, you ain't gay. You just got your reward for giving. Amen. Then, verse 13. And the publican, the simple. Standing afar off, would not even lift up so much as his eyes under heaven, but smelt upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a what? Sinner. I tell you, this man went down into his house justified, rather than the other. For everyone that exalts himself shall be abased, and he that humbles himself shall be exalted. Which one is you? Because when you're walking up forgiveness, that's what you're doing. You're just like that problem. I ain't doing it, Lord. But you got to get to the place of God. I want to do it, but I, I need your help to do it. Help me to trust in your power to do it. Don't announce to God with your, your Lord and a bag of chips and he know you ain't nothing but dust. <laughs> you know, <coughs> you ain't nothing but dust. But amen. But let share about people who refuse to forgive and forget. Here they are. I was hurt so much, how could you ever expect me to forgive and forget that? I never deserved the treatment I received. And I do not believe that forgiving and forgetting is deserved in this situation. See how people start thinking? I am sick because of that treatment. How can I ever forgive or forget that? There are people who are inherently evil and they are despicable. No forgiving or forgetting will ever change that. People are vicious and cruel, and you always need to protect yourself because of that. So why try to forgive and forget what they have done? Mm. It is a sign of weakness to forgive and forget. Anybody think they're weak if they forget? Amen. It is just giving in to others power and control to forgive and forget. So you think you're giving over to somebody's power to forgive and forget? You think they're going to have control over you? That's all the things.
what the devil would say to you. Revenge is the best way to heal my wounds. I'm going to get them back or the last thing I do. Don't cross me or I won't cross you. But if you cross me, watch out. We just have to do Don't you work with me and I won't work with you. <laughs> right? We ain't, we ain't said cross, we said F. Amen. Only God can forgive and forget. Though at times I don't believe he does either. Ooh. I will say this, God is the only one who can totally forget. He uses us not forgetting to mature us. How does he do that? Because when you're not speaking about it no more, you have forgiven and you forgot from it. Amen. Amen. If you're still bringing up a past hurt, you haven't forgiven. Amen. If it still come up in you, you need to get back to praying. There was a girl who burned me when I first got into church out of $1,000. Because I'm believing, boy, if I sow out a $1,000, i will get $10,000. You know I, mean? I was all caught up on this souls and just reaping. Right? So this girl came up to me talking about, you know, her mama needed some help. You know, because I had just got this wind full of money. And I was walking around all the cash, smoking myself half to death. But I said, I'm going to pay my way to heaven, and I'm going to give a tithe off this 10 grand. I gave a tithe. I just got born again. Yeah, but then all of a sudden, I knew I gave her the 1000 Plus, she was cute. And I said, boy, I can probably get that to you. I'm in, I'm in the church. I said, boy, she cute. She, 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 she a freak, no, a freak. And I knew she was a freak. Amen. Okay? I don't care how much church she was. I knew she was a freak. And I said, I'm going to hit that freak. Yeah. And I had an opportunity to bless her with a thousand dollars so I could creep up in that crib. Mm. But when she gave me that little story, I said, the church can't be like this because I had my own mind of what I thought Christians were supposed to be. I didn't know the Christian still was just like me in the hood. So mm. later on, I matured. But, make a long story short, I go to the crib, and all of a sudden, there was nothing in there. Now, the next time after I give her a thousand dollars, I go to the house, all brand new friends up in there. <laughs> Man, this girl is used to this so I'll make a long story short, I did the nasty and did what I was supposed to do. Then I want my money back now. I want to get paid two ways. Then she started to gang and burn it. Right? So finally, I took her to the church. Found out she did it to four other men who just came in there born again. <laughs> oh! So I said, well, I looked at the pastor and said, now, I'm going to take her. I'm honest. I took her straight to the pastor. Now, he kicked out the church. I said, you want to kick out? I'm going to burn down the house. That's the way I felt. And he said, brother, you got to let that go. So I prayed and I prayed, and I'm just now born again now. And every time I saw her, I wanted to kill her. Or I wanted to, I wanted to go buy a house and give her a cocktail she didn't want. <laughs> That's how I was. But I didn't have the family. But anyway, I prayed, and I prayed, and I prayed for this person, and I prayed for this person, and I had to keep on praying. Then one day when I got down to pray, they weren't in my prayers anymore. Whoa. They weren't in my <clears throat> prayers anymore. That's when I knew I released it. But I kept praying for them and praying for them because I was arguing with God. God, I ain't praying for them. That's the only way you're going to get over this. So I prayed for them and prayed for them. They were gone. Then watch this. A few months later, she's right back at the church. And you know what I was able to do? I leave you on. Amen. Amen. But the initial pain, I don't get mine back. I know that. But I hear she's doing well today. But that's when I first got born again. When you first get, get born again, <coughs> A lot of things in your heart are not going to change. And that's why you got to keep on begging to God, being honest with God, letting God know, God, it's, it's hard for me to release this right now. Help me to release this right now, Lord. I'm giving it to you, Father. And you will wake up tomorrow still feeling the same way. You go right back saying, God, help me. God, help me. God, help me. Amen? Then that's your way of saying, I trust in your forgiving power, Jesus. Because I know I can't do it. Amen? All right. Only God can forgive and forget those that times I don't want to believe he does either. What has happened in my life is God's seeking revenge for all the evil I have done in the past. God ain't trying to get no vengeance against you. I have done nothing for which I need to be forgiven. That you're really lying to yourself. You in denial. Everybody in this room Amen. have done something to somebody hurt him and need forgiveness. Amen? Amen? It is easy to say, I'm sorry. You can never trust anyone who says, I'm sorry. I found out women have a hard time saying, I'm sorry. Hello? Why is that so hard for women to say, I'm sorry? Men, we say, I'm sorry, and be lying. Amen. We only say, I'm sorry, because we got caught. Amen. Women, just so tired of being hurt, they can't say, I'm sorry. You know? I, I don't run into plenty of women like that. 
they just can't say it. I don't know why. They'll cook you a meal, you know, they'll fix you something or buy you something, but they just can't say, I'm sorry. Or you was right. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, you are just seeking my forgiveness so that you can come back and hurt me again. Mm. All right, you do, not you do not deserve any kindness, compassion, or forgiveness for what you have done to me. I'll see to it that you are never able to forget it. So that's the person who will always, no matter what you do, whether it's a family member, a child, they're going to bring it up. You can give them as much money as you want. They still going to say, I'll take the money, but you know what you did to me. <laughs> you know? But you've got to forgive yourself. You've got to be able to release yourself. Hey, Amen. I hope I'm getting that across. All people who do wrong deserve the worst life has to dish out. So as soon as you heard a person think you deserve the worst life in the world. I resent everyone who has hurt me. And I believe that this makes me a stronger person so that I will not be hurt again. Don't make you strong. It's going to cause you to have a stroke or a heart attack. But people share these kind of beliefs. Amen? Who walk in unforgiveness. Anyone who could treat another person that way is undeserving of being forgiven, loved, or cared for. Now, I was going to cover, we don't have any time. I guess I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Next time, we're going to look at behaviors needed to be able to forgive a person. So we're going to talk about how to forgive and forget next time. Okay? All right? Is that okay? Y'all get blessed by this? Amen. Who's been here through all of them? Anybody been here through all of them? Have you been getting blessed? Amen. Amen. I know you've been here, Skip. <laughs> Praise God. So let us come to a close here. Father, we just thank you for the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that uh, your men and women of God have decided to walk in forgiveness, especially toward themselves, and understand that forgiveness is the power that you have given unto all of us through your Holy Ghost, Lord God, that we trust in your forgiveness, God, that we do not trust in ourselves or lean on our own understanding for any of this, Lord God, that we seek you, but we must not walk in denial. Help us to be honest with you about our unforgiveness, yes. about our selfishness, about our, our, our rudeness or animosity or anger or bitterness that's going on, so we can give it to you, Father. Yes. So that we can become just like you. Because we are what? New creatures. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So I thank you, Lord. And if anybody needs to pray for prayer of salvation, just say this right after me. Say, Father, Father. in the name of Jesus. Amen, I'm a sinner. And I accept your forgiving power. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead and I'm saved. Thank you for forgiving me and saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.